Well, you mentioned Pennsylvania there, too. I would note that the Biden campaign had a press call earlier today and began to prepare people for the scenario where they would have to try to win without Florida and without Pennsylvania. So we feel really good about both of those states. Florida, I, I think uh, the president is going to win quite handily. And Pennsylvania is another place where Joe Biden did not put up a big enough lead in the early voting period to uh, overcome and, and withstand the onslaught of Trump votes today on Election Day. We think that the president is going to go into tonight with a lead. Uh, we see really high turnout in the blue collar areas, northeastern Pennsylvania, which is allegedly Joe Biden's home turf. Uh, the president's supporters are coming out in huge numbers all across the rural parts of the state. This anti fracking stance that Joe Biden has had uh, has really hurt him in Pennsylvania. Uh, and I would point out one other thing, Bill, that we modeled all of the things that we looked at leading up to Election Day based on 2016 uh, exit polls in 2016 turnout. So that meant for us 8% of the black vote for President Trump. Public polling, as bad as we think it is, forecasts that the president will get 14% of the black vote. And we think we, it could we go had even at, higher than that. We had him at 15 uh, at the end of last week. Yeah. Uh, North Carolina. So everything that we looked at was based yeah. on 8% of the black vote. And if we uh, approach doubling that, then it is going to be real problems for Joe Biden. North Not Carolina just in these states, but everywhere. And Georgia. Yeah. What? Yeah, North, both, both, I think both tell a similar story. Again, Joe Biden didn't hit his marks uh, in, this, in the counties that President Trump won in 2016. Turnout is either approaching or exceeding 2016 levels already. Very high turnout in the areas that President Trump, where we know Such his as. supporters are, where he won, where he won in, uh, in those areas. Let me see, in, in uh, North Carolina, Rowan County, for example, higher than normal election day turnout in North Carolina. And in the urban areas, places where Joe Biden should be able to be drawing from support, uh, there just isn't that enthusiasm. It's what we've been talking about for over a year now. People are not excited about Joe Biden. The president is drawing record number of support from black voters. Uh, in exit polls in 2016, he got about 28 percent of the Hispanic vote. We think he might touch 40 percent of the Hispanic vote. If those things come through, if what we believe is, hap is happening actually happens, then it is going to be a resounding victory for President Trump. And you're seeing this red wave today all across the country. Tim, I, I, I've